Hi guys, so welcome back. Um, so I did a little CVS haul this morning and I'm going to try to make this video fairly short. We Now I say that because I would like some feedback from any of the uh, expert couponers who've been doing this longer than a month uh, because I don't know, I feel like I got some great brands but I can't say that I feel like I I don't know I don't know so um let's get into the breakdown so I did type up and I only typed this up really guys because I really just wanted to kind of see for the most part I mean I did look at my receipts but what coupons like show you guys kind of what I was doing so I'll try to attach this into the description below so you guys can take a look at it now just remember prices do vary by region because not even just region but even just product because like this on some of the receipts said 769 um and then the cotton touch said 799 so let's get in and um i'll tell you guys what i did this morning like i said i'm going to try to sum it all up because i i really this addiction is getting so bad i'm getting behind in my own like grocery shopping and things like that okay so guys um my first transaction, this is what I did. And I didn't print this, guys, because I print so many, like, paper coupons like these. I was trying to avoid just using more ink and paper off of something I can attach at the bottom of the description. So, on here, my first transaction, I bought this. This is not what I exact. well, I did want to buy the purple ones. But, um, or the bedtime kind. But I wanted the cotton touch. Uh, but I was okay with this as well. My stores are very limited. I noticed a lot of people go out on Sundays. And Sundays just aren't days for me to go out and coupon. So one last thing, guys. Another thing is this week I am strictly doing um, hauls that consist of digital and paper coupons that you can print. Because I was not able to get out and get a paper. So I'm kind of seeing what my week looks like by doing deals of things that I need or can stock up on and things that don't um, consist of like needing the coupons that came in the paper. So this deal here is the Johnson's and Johnson's. They also have a Vino. Buy one, get one half off. And if you see, I put in here, you spend 20, you get $10. So I thought that was a great deal. You know, I need a lot of baby things. So the first deal I did was this and um, it came out fairly well to me. I bought two of the bedtime uh, one of the lotions and one of the body wash. They rang up $7.69 and half off, that's $3.84. Now, my um, receipts look different. I swear it seems like each time I go, they modify something. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that is the price. And then I did the two, I did two lotions, okay? The Aveeno Calming Lotions and a Daily Moisturizer. The, at my store, these are $7.29 and half off $3.64. So I used two of the principal. Well, no. For each transaction, I literally did one printed, one digital. One printed, one digital. Because I find that I'm saving coupons if you do that. So, one second. I used one of these here and then I clipped a digital to my account and I did the same for here I tried to use one printed one digital and I tried to pay attention to make sure that they were coming off because at this store I did this transaction with I don't like the cashier and I'm not even gonna front because I just don't like her she's never nice when I go in there she always a pain in the ass so anyways I also rolled over eight dollars extra care bucks from last week when I did the soft soap deal so out of pocket I paid $7.53 and got $10 back. Great. I was satisfied. You are looking to pay more of the $16.46 plus tax, but you would get $10 back, making your final cost roughly $6.46 and $1.61 for each item. I don't think that's bad, but the reason why I am saying I would like some feedback is because by the time I did this deal a couple of other times, I felt like I had spent more than I wanted to but I think that's because a lady told me in there that I cannot use this deal is limited to one I do believe so she told me I couldn't use my extra care bucks from this onto like this 
because I have to use the extra care books I get, like here, with the same number, if that makes any sense. So this $10 couldn't go over here or somewhere else if it wasn't on the same um, card number. So as I kept doing it, my total was getting higher because I didn't have extra care books to keep rolling like I did from this one. Okay, so let's go to my next deal under my same number. So I got $10 from this and I decided to do the Pampers. The Pampers wasn't the best deal to me, but because I want to stock up on Pampers and they're $9.99 each right now and you get $5 back, I went ahead and did it because for this deal, this is my receipt. Um, and you see how it says $7.99? That's what I'm saying. She was manually doing things. So because she said my coupon, my manufacturer coupon was not working, which down here it said it did, so I'm so confused. She took it off and then it didn't print my $5 extra care bucks. So we had to go through a conversation to get her to manually print that, which she ended up doing right here. Okay, so we do this deal and my total comes out to be $6.47 because again, it would have been roughly $16 or $17.78 if you use one of the $2 off uh, two Pampers coupons. That's the only coupon I had, so if there are other ones, Hey, that's great, but that's all I had. So um, then I rolled that $10 extra care bucks, making this $6.47 for that. So that was great. I was okay with that. Now, I move along to my next Johnson's transaction. And this is what I did. Again, I put under a different number so you guys do know that you do have to have another account. Now, I wanted to do certain things like more of these little wipes um and more of these but because this gives you an i bought a cash back offer which we'll get to that but i found one store that had it and by the time i got to this store i think i was like out of coupons <laughs> so <laughs> i think i had like and this store was pretty far so it was like there's no going back home or any of that so i was um again um kind of tweaking my transaction i mean my uh, what do you call it? My transactions for each one because they didn't have certain things I was looking for. So in this transaction, this is what I did. And you'll see here, I did the Johnson's Bedtime. I did an Ave I did two baby Aveeno Creamy Wash. I did the face wipes, which were these. And then I did, and then I used two dollar off cu Johnson coupons. These, again, I don't know if I mentioned, guys, I printed offline. So I did put in there, you will need multiple devices to print. Not even devices, you really just need multiple, like, logins because um, you can only print so many under, like, one account or one phone number. So um, dollar off here, dollar off here, and then I got these two Avenos, and I used two of the $2 off coupons, making taking $2 here and $2 here off. So... Um, by the time the coupons came off, I was at $16.71. There is my receipt. And then I got $10 cash, um, $10 extra care bucks back, making my final cost $6.71 or $1.67 each. I mean, not bad, but I guess my thing is you got to have, you got to know you're going to be doing some out of pocket because unless you just got tons of extra care bucks to keep rolling over, it's not going to get you as far down as my first transaction is, is you know, kind of where what I'm seeing. But I did get $10 back. But I do have to remember, I have to use this $10 with the number that goes to this card. I can't use it with this one on my phone number. I need to use my honey's number for this one. Okay, so let's move along. Um... I did not, I don't think, I did not break, the, put this in the breakdown, but it's actually a, a really good deal. These little one-a-day gummies are on sale. I think I saw, I saw someone else post this, actually, and um, I thought it was a really good deal. So, you only get 28 gummies. They're on sale for $5, but if you go on one-a-day's website, you print a $4 off coupon and you use it and it makes it a dollar. So my store only had the, well, the, I only printed two coupons and then I 
bought the two that the store had but I did come home and print two more coupons because if I'm while I'm out grocery shopping if I stop back in another CVS that has them I'm going to pick them up because a dollar is a great deal there's only 28 in here I have two kids and I believe this thing says to um, chew two per day so it's not that that many in here before a dollar this is great so I'm going to go try to like stock up some more I just don't overprint guys because my stores do not stay stocked up so if i just print 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 next thing you know i got expired coupons and deals that end by the week and i can't match it up um i also received some um two crts today for one was two dollars off one was a dollar fifty off so i used it on these cvs wipes and the total for this and these two came to three dollars and forty cent guys see that that was great too Okay, sorry if I'm talking fast. I realize my video is like 11 minutes already and <laughs> I'm still going through transactions. So um, please just bear with me. Okay, so the last transaction was the one that had the store that had everything I wanted. They had the Baby Avino wipes I wanted and they had the Cotton Touch and they had more of it. But I had already used up pretty much the coupons I had and also went through the accounts that I have set up. So the three accounts that I have, yeah, you can only do it one time for each one. So here, this is one transaction, but I did break it down for you guys over here. And I bought, so I bought the, I bought two of the Cotton Touch, $7.99 each at my store guys. So $3.99 for the second one. I bought a lotion and I bought a, a lotion and a soap but um I bought the 13.6 ounces because they do have some smaller ones but I wanted just to make the mark of $20 so I did buy the bigger one which I really went over I could have really bought the smaller one um I bought a pack of the baby Avino wipes it doesn't say on the receipt how much it was but I remember seeing like six something and then the eczema um bath treatment which is this this box here of the oatmeal baths was $7.49 guys and I own I am missing a coupon on this transaction so when you use two of the dollar off Johnson's because it does count for the wipes guys or I mean oh no that was my other transaction um it was the baby wipes one not baby wipes I'm sorry guys the baby Avino wipes I had a coupon for these but when it came to the eczema therapy, she told me my paper coupon I gave her was not going to work on it. I don't know. So after one Aveeno $2 off coupon and two of my dollar off Johnson's, my total was $18.56. But again, guys, I'm missing a $2 off Aveeno. So if you do have that, use it. And then you're roughly at $16.56 plus tax and you get back $10.00. And your final cost is $6.56 or $1.64 each. And if you have Ibotta, guys, you can submit, I think it's like five times in like one receipt, it said. But a cashback um, offer for the Cotton Touch. And I did that twice for the, for the two that I have. So not bad, but I think my thing is after buying all of these, not knowing that I can't really roll this to maybe like this because it's not the same card number is what the lady told me I just don't understand I guess I wouldn't I guess what would me it mean is I couldn't use this on this a uh, transaction under another account and still get ten dollars back I don't know guys uh, comment below if, if I'm tripping but that's what the lady told me I couldn't do it so they were all separate I went to different stores out of pocket every guys I was at 5538 and that's including like the vitamins and the, the wipes and all these little things which if you count them up I mean these are like eight dollars each so I guess you are getting a great deal every Aveeno product is literally like six seven eight dollars each and then i walked away with 25 dollars in extra care bucks making my total 30 dollars and 38 cents i guess that's not bad but i'm really really trying to get to the point where i have extra care bucks to keep rolling and rolling or is this is this a great haul guys maybe am i just feeling like i spent too much 
or did I spend too much? Comment below if you're a vet at this because I don't know. Like I said, for the products I got and the brands, I think I did good. But at the same time, I'm just, I feel like I, I you know, my out of pocket was a bit much, even though I still have $25 extra care bucks. But I can only use that on the same card. So I can't go combine this and this and go do a toilet paper deal that I want because they're two separate cards. Um, the vitamins definitely were a good deal to me. I'm going to go back and try to grab some more if another store has some. And other than that, guys, um, yeah, this is my haul. I mean, I just, like I said, I feel like I spent a lot. But, you know, if you are a vet, comment below. Tell me how you think I did. And other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. I am going to try to add this down below so you guys can kind of see the breakdown uh like i said i was missing like a coupon in here but i was so far from home i wasn't going back home for it just wasn't worth it and then um yeah other than that guys i need to <laughs> get started on other things other than just couponing but have a great day and uh yeah that's all